Is tithing really optional for Mormons? Let's talk about it. The video this person commented on was a skit highlighting the fact that Mormons have to pay 10% of their income to their church in order to buy their way into the temple and therefore into the highest level of heaven. And just like the Mormon missionary in that video, this person is quick to say that tithing is optional. It's not a requirement. Can you be a member of the Mormon church and not pay tithing? Yeah, absolutely. In that respect, it is optional. But if you don't pay tithing, according to Mormon doctrine, you will not make it to the highest level of heaven. With that being said, is tithing optional or is it a requirement? Let's look at some examples. By the way, these are all taken directly from the Mormon church's official website. Obedience to the law of tithing affirms our loyalty to the kingdom of God. God requires one-tenth of our increase to be put into his storehouse. Tithing is a law of God and is required of all his followers. To fail to meet this obligation in full is a, to omit a weighty matter. It is a transgression. Tithing has been established in these latter days as an essential law for members of the Lord's Restored Church. Tithing is one of the commandments that qualifies us by our faith to enter the temple. Tithing is a pivotal commandment, one on which larger issues turn. Only those church members who pay a full tithing can receive temple ordinances. And the Lord tells us that those who pay tithing will not be burned at his second coming. Tithing is an obligation to the Lord. Tithing is a debt. The Lord requires us to return to him tithing. It's a legal obligation. It is not a mere free will offering. A penalty for non-payment is always exacted. The payment of tithing is worthwhile as fire insurance. He that is tithed shall not be burned at the second coming. Not paying your tithing is fraught with consequences. Tithing is part of celestial law. Obedience to the law of tithing is a prerequisite to being quickened in the resurrection by the fullness of celestial glory. Tithing is, in a very real sense, a form of fire insurance, insurance against burning. Those who enter the temple must show their faith by keeping the commandments. They must pay a full tithing. In order to enter the temple to do necessary ordinances and make it to the highest degree of heaven, we need to pay tithing. Tithing is a divine law that we need to observe. It is one of the requirements for everyone to receive the blessings of and qualify for exaltation. To go to the temple requires each of us to be worthy to access the house of the Lord. Among the recommend questions, one related to the payment of tithing. Are you a full tithe payer? The Lord requires we dedicate one tenth to him. Tithing is a law of God and is required to fail to meet this obligation is to fail in a very weighty matter. So there you have it. Just like I said in the original video, you can be Mormon without giving 10% of your income to the church. However, you will not be worthy to enter the temple and therefore make it to the highest level of heaven. In my opinion, it's really dishonest when Mormons say that tithing in their church is just optional. If it were completely optional, there wouldn't be major eternal consequences to not paying. I just don't feel like that's an accurate representation of what tithing is within the church. Like I just showed you, church leaders have been extremely clear that tithing is a debt. Tithing is a requirement of the Lord. Tithing is essential to make it to the temple. They say that if you don't pay your tithing, you're going to be burned at the second coming. They say that you won't qualify for exaltation. So I mean, it's optional in the sense that they won't kick you out of the church if you don't pay, but it's not optional if you want to make it to the highest level of heaven, which was kind of the whole point of that skit, paying to get to heaven. And before I end this video, I just want to head off a few future comments that I see people making. And if you make one of these comments, I know that you didn't watch the video. One, well, I don't pay tithing and my bishop still gave me a temple recommend. Your options are that one, you lied about it, or two, your bishop isn't doing his job as a bishop correctly. According to all the rules about temple requirements, paying 10% of your income is a requirement to enter the temple. Just because you won the bishop roulette doesn't mean that tithing isn't a requirement anymore. Comment number two I foresee happening is, well, tithing is biblical. You might need to clutch your pearls for this part, but I don't care what the Bible says. That's not the point of the video. I don't care. It doesn't matter. The point of the original video and this one is that as a Mormon, you are required to buy your way into heaven by giving the Mormon church 10% of your income. That's all.